All right, picking up from where we left off. Uh, so we need to leave a gap um, in the middle here for the odd shape, and then we've got the revolve section at the front. Okay, so to do this, uh, I'm gonna set up a new plane. So features or surface, doesn't matter, reference geometry plane. Uh, now we can't offset from here, so I'm just gonna put a new plane in and then go back and create a new one again. Uh, 70 mil offset, because we've got to remember that there's the 30 mil radius at the front um, to take off the 100 mil overall. Okay, green tick. We wanna go straight into the revolve surface on this new plane, spacebar normal two. Okay, now we just need to set up this sort of elongated semicircle. Uh, so I'm gonna go straight and get the center line, find the center of the model, Okay, somewhere here. Snap to that point, actually. Yep. Okay. Do the same on the other side. And then measure both of these lines to 20 millimeters. Okay. On the ends of these lines, let's put two circles. And measure these to 60 mil diameters. Uh, get the line tool, normal line this time, and uh, we need to find the top center of both circles and create a line straight across. Okay, now we just need to add some extra center lines in the middle just so we can finish the shape. So I'm just going to join from the end of the first line to the edge and do the same on the other side. Okay, uh, trim entities. Power trim, just going to slice across the bottom here and then trim everything out inside. Okay, that's our outline done. So green tick, exit the sketch. All right, so get a bit closer. Axis revolution, make sure that box is active and then click on one of the center lines. All right, you can see this has gone a full 360. Uh, I'm just going to change that to 90. And you can see it's gone the wrong way. Uh, if it does this under direction one, just click the arrow here next to blind and it'll flip over the correct way. Green tick to accept. And then we've got to figure out this middle section. All right. <clears throat> now we need to put a plane in so that we can actually draw. Let's uh, select this surface here. Um, I'm just gonna draw straight onto that because it's flat. So let's go into sketch. Okay, space bar, normal two. Now it's a little bit of an odd setup, this one. Um, drop down the line tool, get the center line tool, and find the corner here. If that plane's in the way, uh, let's see if we can just hide that. Okay, right click and click the eye. Right, let's see if that helps. Let's get rid of this one actually as well. Yeah. Uh, get the center line tool, snap to this corner point here. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to do this on one side, mirror it over just to speed things up. So, smart dimension the angle between this line and the edge here to 17. Okay, let's uh, let's get a Actually, let's go for the arc tool first. So three point arc from this corner point down to the line we just drew. And then just bend it out outwards slightly. Okay, straight line. Let's go from the end of the arc back to the top corner of our other section. And then we just need to set some tangent tangency up. So let's uh, select this line, hold shift, control and select this line okay over on the left choose tangent that's that bit done and then we need to do the same for this line so select it hold control or shift select that line and choose tangent okay it's all nice and smooth now so I'm gonna put a center line down the middle of the model And then I'm just, I've just pressed escape to deselect some stuff um, and I'm going to go into mirror entities. I'm going to click on the two lines here, click into mirror about, and then choose the center line. 